sorry, am I boring you? Remission log. Yes. Catch upon the plot. No! Well, I've got to read it. Snake saves President Baker from a foxhound member of Volver Ocelot. However, he's already given away the detonation code. The only thing that can stop the lock to the nuke in the warhead is the detonation code or emergency override key held by Merrill, or Metal Gear's chief engineer, Dr. Hal Emmerich. After talking to Snake, Baker also dies from a heart attack. Snake reverses the Kodak frequency on the back of the CD case and tries contacting Merrill. Yeah, remember that shit? Ooh, he's just watching League of Legends stuff now. The new character art. Oh, coming soon. Oh, wait, raise the volume. We're recording a video. I'm sorry for the audio inside the audio. Amish has to see this League of Legends character now. It's of vital importance. Alright, so this is something you can do. Get the C4 and the stealth gear. Go up behind the guy. You have to be really close. Oh, it didn't work. Did it? Wait. I'm not... Yeah, it did! Check it! Look, look what's on this pot. What is what? What looking at? What's that in his ass? I don't know. That's C4! <laughs> I put it on his butt! <laughs> Gonna have explosive diarrhea. No, I'm gonna have explosive punch. Watch this. Won't that kill you? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lose your way! I just want to show you what it did. Because <laughs> the button for detonators is the same as the button for punch. <laughs> so is this one of those pay to win characters? <laughs> pay to win characters. Uh, so you're paying to win, basically. No. What, what, what you say? No. No, no, no. You're saying you give money to the creators, yes? Mm -hmm. So it's pay to win. That's the logic of the internet. All right, I need to look at the back of the CD case. Because Hideo Kojima is a crazy person. I have to get outside this area to do it. I think this might be a super long one as well. You're the Colonel's niece. Meryl, right? Just like your uncle, you know? Just like your uncle. Old and crusty. Are you Solid Snake? Well, you have to kill her now she knows her name. <laughs> Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. Are you seriously doing this right now? Sorry. There's <laughs> important plot shit going I'm down. You're talking about her beautiful, compassionate eyes. You're watching League of Legends or some shit. Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? You're not brothers, are you? What exactly happened here? Uh, please tell me as long and drawn out as you can. Nobody told you anything, did they? Nobody's telling me anything now. For the development of Metal Gear. The game? Oh, no. Yeah, this is Konami headquarters. <laughs> Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Oh. How's he holding up? Your mind went there too, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think a man does have a smoke or something new in his dick. <laughs> All right, hear me on this. No. So, no. You have the scrope ball. <laughs> <laughs> you got the little purse and the shaft, <laughs> and they kind of clamp down <laughs> and keep it in the bag to stop it from rattling around. You keep it in the scrope ball. No, there was like a little pouch. <laughs> Someone got an operation like to get a little pocket into the scrope. <laughs> like one of them little bags, like with the rope around it. <laughs> oh my god! Rope to close it. No, don't. They so poke it through the don't, hole. And don't push it down. think about strangling oh. balls. You put that in my head. I was gonna Why? say some kind of operation to turn it into some kind of pocket. Oh, <laughs> it's a pocket inside. It just nestled between the scrope. <laughs> so here's a phenomenal one. Hold it on the back of it. <laughs> so you know, you ever had that thing where you actually like close the zip on your dick? <laughs> Why did you that? Put the zips on your dick. Oh, you'd be so worried. I was a poor bastard for we're talking about scrot sacks. It's a poor bastard. She killed a man. But does she have a zip? on this first time. She's a girl. She has a vagina. They can't put a zip on that. Yeah, they <laughs> Maybe you should, you little slut. <laughs> I want a formal apology on the screen, like, just fading in as we talk about this horrible stuff. Here's the thing. I find that, like, some people, you included, are kind of, like, a bit iffy about talking about certain subjects. So for some reason, I find poop talk hilarious. <laughs> I like poop talk. 
But but you were like wincing when I was talking about it when huh? I did poop cast. I was talking about like you have one of those poops where you have to like take off your pants. Oh, you want your legs to that, breathe. That was horrible. That one. And you're like bracing against the side. That was horrible. And it just never stopped. And talking about like scrote zips. <laughs> but I can't have a conversation asking me to. Well, the, you know, one of those conversations where like something like. Do you think that girl's... Uh, what do you think that girl's rating is? I think she's a nine. I can't do that. No. I don't know. I think it's because I have terrible self-image, but I find it difficult to rank anyone because they're always going to be higher. <laughs> because I see myself as, like, the base. There's like... I'm a zero. Well, everyone's <laughs> ten because they're better than me. Except that girl. You get to be a five. <laughs> you look like a big girl. You shouldn't have got that scrot zip. <laughs> <laughs> so we talked to Meryl. <laughs> and she's going to open the door for us. Yay, go on, Meryl. Yay, good Meryl. Good Meryl. <laughs> Why did they replace Meryl good with Meryl. Meryl from Walking Dead? <laughs> Can you open the door? Hi, you asked me nicer, sweetheart. So as I was saying, Okay. This could have been like a very simple thing. <laughs> Just I put the cargo door. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Gotta keep talking. Uh, I, I don't want to go for all that bullshit again. But there's this kind of messed up thing with how the gas works in that, where, like, the gas is released and the door is locked on you. Mm -hmm. And you're not like killed straight away. You're just like running around. As far as I can tell, there's no escape. Yeah. So kind of suppressor. How many were the boxes? I think that's going to be a boss fight. <laughs> Against a cardboard box. Yep. Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. Somehow you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. Gee, you think? I still haven't seen the Avengers yet. Well, the first one or Age of Ultron? Ultron. It's really good. It's like, it kind of like, it felt like it understood what was good about the first one. Mm. It only makes a seat then. I haven't. It, it adds a lot of. It adds a lot of. Adds a lot as well. Mm. All right. Do you want to see another trick? Yeah. Sure. All right. Oh. Uh, path out in the snow. Snake, be careful. There are claymore mines around there. Just call me Deep Throat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what everyone's gonna be thinking about. <laughs> There's a tank in front of your position, waiting to ambush you. I was thinking of a tank hiding behind a rock now. <laughs> you know, we could call up Campbell and tell him about that. Then have another, like, hour-long conversation. Shall we? Do it. Plus little trick. Alright, see the things? Yeah. And that blow me up. If I was to stand up now, I'd be blown up. Oh. But here's the thing in Metal Gear games. Here's how you pick them up. Just crawl over them. Oh. So you just crawl from my field. <laughs> you get more mines. Yeah, you can pick up the claymore. That's cool. Pfft, this thing. It's not even dressed for dinner. <laughs> I am. I'm always dressed for dinner. Little bow tie in the toilet. <laughs> Send him a message. Has a little note on the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. Do you like me, yes or no? You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. Racist. He's one man driving the whole tank by himself. Oh, there's other people in there. Oh. But it's mostly him. He's just like the one who is standing on someone else's head and yelling at him. Boom! Now he's jammed. Can't use his main cannon. Grenades in him. Dig it. <laughs> he fell out. Yeah, he did. You just go recover because it'll try and run you over like that. <laughs> See, once again, you get another boss fight, which is like completely different from the one before. <laughs> Stop it! There you go. We have to get inside. Oh, I did. Oh, sorry. It does more damage you get in. You just can't let him get too far away, otherwise it'll start using this cannon. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> okay. That was the grenade. <laughs> Got him. Yay! Woo! That was easy. Mm. I wonder what this scrot sack holds. It's a key. <laughs> well, boss, I hope you are happy. You got the car. Is that the tank talking? <laughs> <laughs> In battle, 
He is as if possessed by a demon. Or a guy just lazily throwing grenades into a hole. Yeah. <laughs> when I go home slowly. Yes. The raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Yep, he thinks the tattoo duck into it. I thought the bad guy just pick him up and carry him away. He's <laughs> like Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> like the fellow, hey Arnold, all the pigeons. 